Hi guys, I'm just on my way to work, but I thought I would do a little video. Today, I want to talk to you about emotions. Now, emotions, we go through lots every day, you know? We can go through very positive emotions, and we can also go through very negative emotions. You could also be in the mid range, you know, a bit bored, not really feeling much. But the reason I wanted to talk about emotions is because I want you to awaken yourself. So that means be conscious of what emotions you are feeling generally and throughout the day. Now this gives us power to create the life the way that we want it. So the more aware you are of your emotions, the more power you have to create your day and to create your life. So when you start to change your emotions and suddenly you're not feeling, I'm particularly talking about negative energy. So when you stop, if, you're, if your body's quite used to feeling negativity all the time or if you're very used to feeling in fear, your body's gonna crave that. And as soon as you wake up in the morning, you look for that feeling, you look for those thoughts that you were thinking the day before, and then the feelings come. And then your body gets that hit of negativity, and you're ready to start your day. Now, when you start to change the way that you're feeling and the way that you're thinking, your body's gonna crave that connection that it normally feels it's going to be in a bit of a shock you know it's going to start to feel one minute where is that feeling that I normally feel every single day and when you start to change it your neural pathways are going to become stronger but you need to make sure that you're doing it on a daily basis so that's why I obviously recommend feeling gratitude um, you've also got affirmations that make you feel a certain way um, and just basically feeling appreciation for life now if you're feeling appreciation then you can't feel a negative emotion in the same space so that's why it's really good to be conscious about what you're thinking throughout the day. And when you do feel like you're thinking a negative thought, and it could just pop up from nowhere, literally, you could just be driving your car and you get all of these negative thoughts that come through. Now, as long as you're conscious that you're thinking that negative thought, then you can change it. You can divert your attention. You can start to think of something else that makes you feel really happy it could be something really simple like maybe you're going for a coffee and you love drinking coffee maybe it could be your little fur, fur baby your dog or your cat that you absolutely love whatever you look at them you just feel admiration and love for them oh, I don't know about admiration but you just feel love for your pet you could be thinking about your children so if you create little triggers, so when you start to think of a negative thought, you set up a trigger. So I think a negative thought, and then trigger is gonna be my cat. Trigger is gonna be my dog. Trigger is gonna be my kids. I'm gonna start thinking about them because they just make me feel so happy. It could be something very simple, like I said, going for a coffee, having um, a nice bath to yourself, anything you can think of that will make that, that will create the positivity rather than that negative energy. Now, our bodies, like I said, crave those neural connections, those pathways that we've been creating throughout our life. And when we do change, we're obviously 
gonna meet obstacles that we need to overcome. So setting up those trigger points will really help create those new neural pathways. A lot of the time, people, well, when things are going really, really well, things are going good, you know, you've got good relationships, you've got good things happening at work, things are happening that are great, a lot of the time, certain people can feel like self-sabotaging. Now, you might not be aware that you're actually doing it, but if you read up about self-sabotaging, it is a very common thing. Now, it could mean that you're not kind of watching your thoughts, you're not conscious of it, so you, that's why I'm saying that it really pays to be conscious of how you're feeling throughout the day and not feeding into those negative emotions and thoughts. And when you do feel like you're doing that, you need a trigger just to divert your attention to something more positive. So I hope that's been helpful for you today. I really feel that if you're conscious about the way you think, the way you feel, you can create the life that you want and be deliberate about your day. I hope that this has been helpful for you. Please do like and subscribe and share as well. If you feel like there's somebody that needs this message today, then please do share it. But just remember to be the best version of yourself that you can today. Thanks for listening.